Automated reminders in monday.com will ensure you do not forget anything you need to do. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to very quickly set them up. So let's head over to monday.com. As you can see here, I am in an example monday.com system. Now, to create automated reminders, it's really, really easy. We just need to go to the board that we would like to create automated reminders for, and then we need to go ahead and press automate in the top right hand corner. So press automate and then go to board automations up the top and then press add automation. Now, we need to create a trigger and then an action. So I'm gonna walk you through the trigger first. And in this instance, the trigger is gonna be date arrives. So traditionally it's at the top here. If you cannot see it, just search date arrives and select that option. And then you need to select the when and then the date column. So firstly, we'll start with when. We've got two options here. When date arrives at 7.45. So that's on the day that the date column is set, the day that it arrives, create an automated reminder. And I'll show you how to do the action bit in a moment. However, I personally wouldn't use want to do this. You can do, there are instances when this works, but my preferred approach is the option below, which is days before or days after. So we can select the numerical amount, so one or two or three or five. So let's say five, and then we can select days, weeks, or months. So five days, five weeks, or five months. So I leave it as days, and then we can select before or after. So before in this instance. So what we're saying is five days before date arrives at, and then 7.45 is a little bit aggressive, but we can select, select this at, let's say, 10 a.m. So five days before date arrives at 10 a.m. and then we just need to select the date column. Now, if you've got multiple date columns inside of your board, just make sure you're selecting the right one. I've only got two, I've got the column main board and then I've got the sub item as well, but I'm just gonna select the main board date column. So that is our trigger. Five days before date arrives, then we just need to select the action, which is then do this. And we just wanna go ahead and search for the option notify. Again, it is traditionally up here. So if you cannot see it, however, just search notify. And then we've got two options. Firstly, we need to write a message just telling them what's going on. So notify is in literally notify them with information. So you can pre-populate a lot of this information from the actual board. So that's the item name, board name, username, group name, person, status, date, priority. There'll be a lot more columns that I'm sure you'll be applying this to, this structure to. So um, you can go ahead and auto-populate using those columns and then you can write a, a useful message. So I'm just gonna write useful message for the sake of this video, press done. And then we just need to select the someone that is gonna be notified. So what person inside of monday.com will receive this notification? So select the someone option. We've got a whole host of different options available to us here. We can hard select it as maybe yourself or someone else. You can select the team member, um, subscribers, so people that are subscribed to the board, a particular team, so you can notify an entire team, let's say the marketing department or a guest if you want to. However, my preferred approach, the way I would do this, this is obviously subject to use case, but I would just use the people column. So whoever is the owner of this particular item will receive the notification, especially if this is a follow up for sales, for example. There you go. So I'd select that as the option. And then I'll go ahead and press create automation. So congratulations, you've now created that automation. So five days before a date arrives, it's going to notify the person that is responsible for the item. So you can see item one, I'm responsible. Now you may want to take this a level up because there might be instances where you don't actually want to send a notification because there's no need to remind someone of anything. So to do that, I'll go to automate in the top right hand corner again. We have two options. We could choose to just edit the existing automation, or in this case, just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna walk you through uh, how to add filter criteria by creating a new automation. So I press add automation and then date arrives. I will very quickly run through this. So I do not waste your time before, five days before, we'll leave it at 7.5. Someone's gonna have to firm it. Um, and then we just wanna press the plus button. So five days before date arrives and only if, and this is the important part because you might not necessarily need an automated reminder if the thing has already been done. So you might go and only if, and then in this instance, it might be status. And then you select the status column. So which status column applies is, and then something, or you can change it to is not. So five days before date rise and only if status is in this instance, and then done or working on it or lost in this instance, I'm going to select working on it. Then we want to notify notify someone so we can select this notification and it will send a notification same principle applies uh, remind me 
done and then select the person that you would like to send this notification to and then press create automation so that's kind of stage two to all of this and then if you want to get really sophisticated and i recommend you do do this i would integrate with if you're using slack it's already built in so that's super easy or teams as well so it sends a message to the person that you would like to remind into their teams or slack channel so they know that they need to do the thing because people might forget or they might not get the email notification or they might not look at the email notification or you know a whole host of things happen when someone doesn't want to do a task so i'm going to show you how to quickly do that just go to automate in the top right hand corner in this instance i'm not going to waste your time i'm just going to edit an existing automation press edit and then press the plus button this is another action that we're adding to the sequence from the triggers and then we just want to search for slack and then we can go ahead select slack um, and then select the account the message and the channel that you'd like to notify you can also do this via zapier this is going to or integra map this is going to add a, a greater detail of complexity but more flexibility when it comes to the setup so i'm going to leave it there hopefully this video has helped setting up automated reminders by days is super easy before you go if you need any help setting up monday.com for your business check out the link below as per usual thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you soon goodbye